Well, today is Sunday, and uh, completing work, or trying to complete work on the John Deere 316 garden tractor converted to electric. Today I built all of the mounts for the batteries, and if you saw my last video, I was talking about whether the tractor was going to run on uh, 36 volts or 48 volts, and I just can't fit four batteries. I tried a hundred different ways. If I decide I want the fourth battery, I'm going to have to have uh, what's called a doghouse on the back here. I'll move that, I'll weld up a box to put a battery kind of hanging out the back, which is where I would put a fourth battery. Anyways, I want that extra weight over the drive wheels. But one of the batteries is going to sit right here. And it's actually going to sit right on that rear differential with a rubber pad under it. We'll have to see how that works out. I don't know how hot that differential gets, but uh, we'll see. And then over in the front, we have another battery that's going to live right behind the dashboard. And that little angle iron thing I made to carry it. And then the third battery just simply sits right here under the hood. Unfortunately, I had to cut off the motor mounts. I really didn't want to do that to this chassis in case I wanted to put it back to a gas tractor. But I guess I can weld the motor mounts back on if I needed to. But I had to do that because I wanted to leave some space between the motor and the battery because I have a fan that I, an electric fan, a 12 volt fan that I put in there. Uh, on the 214, I've never had to use the, mo the fan. Uh, the 214 with the same motor never even got warm. It always stayed a couple of degrees above ambient temperature. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen now with the hydraulic situation. If you saw my last video, I was concerned and surprised at how noisy it was. I don't know what's making a lot of noise. Um, I know that electric motor, if I disconnect the drive shaft here and I run just the motor without the drive shaft, I mean, you can barely hear the motor run. So I think it's that hydraulic pump and I think what happens is when we've got a gas motor on one of these tractors with this hydro pump, the motor make the gas motor makes so much noise we don't hear the hydro pump. So maybe it's just surprising to hear the pump without a gasoline engine roaring away. We shall see. I do know that if I'm still concerned about my alignment of these quasi universal joints that John Deere uses. I just, I don't know. We all know that if it's not lined up right, it's going to create harmonics and it's going to be noisy. I just might replace these with real universal joints, like out of a Toyota Corolla or, you know, a Kubota tractor or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Also had to make new risers for the seat pan. I needed to get it up another about an inch so that the batteries, uh, this battery could fit. So I raised the uh, seat pan about, it's, it's, it's raised about three quarters of an inch, actually. Uh, you can't even tell that it's been raised. So that, that's where we're at now. Now, big decision is it's, it's, Friday, it's a Sunday afternoon, three o'clock. I've cleaned up the shop a little bit, put all the tools away that I was using this morning and yesterday. So, do I keep at it? The next step is all electrical, which is kind of cleaner kind of work. Not a lot of welding and cutting and drilling and milling and all that like I've had to do. So we shall see.